What is good, YouTube? And we are back with another Mugen tutorial. I know it's been a minute since I dropped a Mugen tutorial. So this one here has been long awaited. A lot of people ask me about how to play Mugen online and multiplayer. So this will be the tutorial on how to do it. It's gonna be super simple. I'm gonna break it down nice and easy so anybody can get this. And before we get started though, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Let's try to get to 5K. We're pretty close. Um, we just hit 4K not too long ago. So thank you guys for that. So let's get started. So the first thing guys we're gonna need for this tutorial, you're gonna wanna have, of course, you can't get started without having the Mugen game here. So make sure you guys have a Mugen build and the way this works, any Mugen is going to work with it. Any Mugen game, it doesn't matter which one you have, what build you have, any Mugen will work. Uh, Jump Force Mugen, Legacy Mugen, it doesn't matter what it is. Even other games, not even Mugen. So I'll show you guys how to do it. So I have here the Legacy Mugen. This is the one I built here. Um, we put all the characters in it and everything. And if you guys like the Legacy build, I have um, a tutorial on how to get it. If you guys want to watch that, go for it. Alright, so once you guys have your Mugen, um, you're going to want to go to this website right here. So it's called Parsect. So Parsect is the program that's going to allow this to become online and become multiplayer. So what Parsect is essentially, um, it's the program that will allow you to host your computer to allow your friends and uh, whoever you want pretty much to play with you through your computer so it's not like an online lobby like um, for instance like you go to a lobby and it's matchmaking and then you wait in there and connect with someone else that you don't really know or like you just matchmake in a, a open lobby it's not like that so it's like more of a private lobby that you're going to be hosting so once you go to parsec.com or parsec.app uh, hit enter you're going to be on this page here then you're going to want to go to download you can download parsec here and then you're going to have to make a um, login for it you're going to have to make a login a password and i think that's pretty much it so make sure you guys do that too and then when you download it uh, open it up it should look like this so this is the program here um, uh, it give you a regular screen like this and then I'll show you exactly what you want to do from here so this first tab here is called computers it's gonna show you your computer so this is my computer right here this is what I'll be hosting the online Mugen from so make sure you have it shows up your computer here so next you're gonna want to go to settings this is where we got to switch a little bit of things here so this will be how to exactly uh, set up everything how you want it so the client list client tab is the first one don't worry about this one this one should be good so client settings you can skip that one it should be all right next go to host so for host settings make sure you have enabled uh, this here enabled the host hosting enabled because this will allow you to share your Mugen with the with your friend and play online without having this enabled you won't be able to play with your friend so have this enabled um, then you want to go to bandwidth and then I put on 50 um, for my bandwidth you can put it on 50 as well but as long as you have a pretty good internet so if you don't have like that good of internet probably put it to 25 or 30 but if you think you have good enough internet give 50 a try but then you can like adjust it accordingly all right so that should be good for this tab here just switch those two things make sure you have enable on and put it on 50 if you think you can handle it then you're going to want to go to the approved apps tab all right so for this section you're going to want to make sure your move is open so this uh, approved apps it's gonna look on your computer to see what programs you have open and the ones that are open it will show on the list here so you want to check Mugen check Mugen 
Otherwise, if you don't check anything, what's gonna happen is the person you're uh, allowing to join uh, your system will be able to see everything on your computer. It might not be a big deal for some people, but some people might not want that. But if you don't want that, and you only want them to see Mugen, just make sure you have this checked. So that's gonna allow them to only see the game. If you close the game, they're not gonna see anything on their screen. Um, and once you open it up, it'll, it'll resume right back to Mugen. And you can do multiple things. So if you just want them to see Mugen and you want them to see Discord, that, that's all they will see. So if you don't care about that, and you, you want them to see your whole computer, you can kind of just unclick everything and then it'll just show everything on your screen. But for me, I'm gonna click Mugen only to make it more simple. All right, so from that, I think everything else should be good. Don't worry about anything else, um, at least for right now. So once you do that, um, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is find a friend, get a buddy that you want them to uh, play Mugen. If you guys also can't find anyone that wants to play with you or anything, join the Discord. In my Discord, we have a whole Mugen, um, a Discord dedicated to Mugen, and you can join that, guys. I have a bunch of sections here. We do like Mugen characters, all this stuff here. I actually tested out this um, Parsec program with my Mugen uh, family here, the Mugen community and we were playing on my system here. I hosted it and we were playing on it. And I'll show you guys some footage from that to show you guys how it works just in a bit. So if you guys can't find anyone to play with, join the movement over here and then I'm sure you'll find somebody. And you can also get some answers here if you need some help with anything, but join the Discord. All right, so when you find um, your friend or anything, just give them your um, code here on the top right you can see that's my code here um, that is how you'll be able to join my system so you also can um, if you don't want to like do it that way by giving them this long code to click share click share on your computer here and then you can copy paste this um, parsec link this link will be the link that um, will allow whoever you're giving it to to join your parsec and you're gonna be hosting that person to allow them to be on your computer. So they can just use this code. Once they use the code, it'll give you a notification that this person wants to join your computer. And then you can accept or decline. And then um, from there, you can also add them that way. So once it does, once you do link up with uh, somebody, their name will be over here in a little square. It's going to show a gamepad, keyboard, and a mouse. And then you can allow them, you can choose what access they have. So I don't have a gamepad or a gamepad set up for the uh, other players. So I just use the keyboard. So make sure you, uh, if you don't have a gamepad or anything set up, just go with keyboard. The keyboard will be what they're going to be using to play. So what you want to do too, make sure when you go into your Mugen, we're gonna go to uh, settings in your Mugen or options, my bad. So you go to options, then you go to input config, key config, then this is where you can see the uh, controls for player one and two. So you're probably used to using player one controls. So you already know those, but player two controls, you can either conf configure it them or you can just leave them as is, but make sure that the, your guest that you're inviting onto your system knows the controls. So you can either tell them that, or once they have access to your system, you can just show them through the game. Because once they uh, once they join your system, they can see your Mugen screen, and then um, they can see themselves here what the buttons would be. So the way we did it. The way we set it up earlier was we went, um, I went through Discord and I set up a voice chat in Discord. So everyone that was on my system was in the voice chat. We can talk to each other right away. We can communicate and then um, we can easily communicate with all the players in there. And um, I can easily relay any information like that. So that's an easy way to do it through Discord. 
but that's not the only way whatever way you guys have communication just do it like that um what else so that's pretty much how to do it I have some footage I'll show you guys from earlier when we were playing it. It runs pretty smooth, like smoother than you'd expect. It's pretty legit. And that's pretty much how to do it. It's pretty simple. It's not too complicated. So once you try it out, um, let me know if it worked for you guys. Um, and make sure you guys, if you guys want some more tutorials, let me know what else you guys want. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And that's pretty much it. I don't know what else to say. So. Uh, take care everybody. I hope it works for you guys and have a good one. Peace. We're gonna go to oh, what's up? What's up, Toast? Hey, versus Toast, what up? Should be able to move. Alright, can you move now? Uh, I can move the uh, the mouse, right? Oh there you go, there you go. Yeah. Alright, bet. <laughs> bet. <laughs> You're going to sell? Yeah. If you go sell then I'm gonna go I'm gonna go Rengoku. Okay. All right. Boom. All right. Let's try this out. I might move them toes. There we go. Take the online. I just want to see how good the fighting is. Let's see it. I test the fighting out and rate of just regular regular. Okay. Oh, let's go. Let me bring out the drip. There we go. Drip rank Goku. All right, let's see. Oh, <laughs> is it is it like laggy or is it like smooth? Okay. Ooh, let's go. Rengoku's a boss. How do I charge? How are you charging? Oh, there we go. Okay, but. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh crap. Oh. <laughs> She's legit. Yo, she can set up some nasty combos though. Okay, let me try this last character. Give me my last character. I'm gonna try the character that we can never use on YouTube. 